The overall goal of the following experiment is to isolate translating ribosomes, polysomes, in order to study changes in mRNA translation activity in the cell. This is achieved by adding cyclohexamide to the growth media in order to freeze ribosomes on the mRNA, thereby preventing ribosome runoff. As a second step, ribosomes are extracted from cells and separated based on their density by sucrose density gradient centrifugation to quantify and isolate free ribosomal subunits 40S and 60S, monosomes 80S, and translating ribosomes, polysomes. Next, RNAs or proteins can be extracted from sucrose fractions in order to analyze mRNA and protein abundance respectively in pre- and polysomal fractions. The results show quantitative and qualitative changes in mRNA translation which can be examined on a genome-wide level using microarrays or next-generation RNA sequencing and analyzed using a NODA algorithm. The poison profiling method can be used to address major questions when it comes to regulation of gene expression at post-transcriptional level, such as monitoring changes in mRNA translation on a genome-wide level, as well as the association of proteins with ribosomes and polysomes. Valentina Gandin, a research associate in our lab, will demonstrate this technique. To begin, prepare one.